next part of um, chemistry that I want you to look at is the green chemistry and environmental issues. Um, I'd like you to look at this before we talk about it in class, so you have some questions you can ask me about it. So here's a basic, well, it's pretty much three chapters condensed into half a page. So we'll see how you go with this. All right, the main thing you need to know with chemical, like green chemistry and all this, the environmental issues and stuff like that, is what chemicals do what. What chemicals are, cause the problems and what chemicals cause which environmental impact. So here I've got the major impacts that we're going to deal with. Acid rain, greenhouse, ozone depletion in the stratosphere, ozone formation in the troposphere, and photochemical smog. These two here are linked as well. Ozone formation and photochemical smog are linked. Ozone is a type of photochemical smog, but we'll get to that later on. We'll do that later on. Anyway, acid rain is caused by these three things here. They're oxides of carbon, nitrogen, and sulfur. NOx is an abbreviation for nitrogen oxides. You could have NO or you could have NO2. SOx could be SO2 or SO3. Okay, it's just abbreviations for those. So acid rain is caused by carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and sulfuric oxides. Okay, that's when they are dissolved in water, they form <coughs> sorry, they form acids and they kill plants and stuff. The greenhouse effect is caused by carbon dioxide, clearly, because <coughs> that's what we're talking about the whole time and that's what carbon tax is all about, greenhouse effect and global warming. Methane from cows and the like, and atmospheric water. So it's water vapour. That's why I've got a G next to it, it's water gas. So that's what does the greenhouse effect. It's by these in the atmosphere absorbing infrared rays. Ozone depletion is basically solely CFCs. There's a couple of other things that do it as well. I think NOx do it a little bit, okay? But it's mainly CFCs. That's what you want to deal with. Okay, so CFCs could go up there and deplete ozone. Ozone formation and photochemical smog are very similar. Okay, that's why I've got O3 here is ozone. Photochemical smog and ozone are formed by NOxes, nitrogen oxides. Okay, so that's what where they're formed. So that's all the things that deal with each. <coughs> the easiest way to remember it is to remember what happened, what causes each one, because that's what most of your most of your questions about environmental problems will come from knowing which chemicals cause which problem. This goes on to a bit about the greenhouse effect. Okay, we have a natural greenhouse effect, which means like we have natural carbon dioxide that we breathe out and water vapour that is evaporated from oceans and stuff. That's in the atmosphere and making us sure we don't freeze to death. Without it, we would be between negative 200 and 200 degrees Celsius from day to night. Okay, it helps us regulate the temperature on Earth. Okay, the moon doesn't have an atmosphere, so therefore it ranges from negative 200 degrees Celsius at night to about 200 degrees Celsius during the day. So it's a massive oscillation in there. But the natural one is that the enhanced greenhouse effect causes global warming, and that's by adding more carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere. More so methane than it, sorry, more so carbon dioxide than anything else. Now, key point to note as well is this. Each of the above environmental issues are independent of each other. That means they don't really relate to each other very much. Greenhouse has nothing to do with ozone. Ozone has nothing to do with global warming. Never, ever say Earth is warming up because of the ozone layer. It's just not true. Never say that. All right, so that's my little rant out of the way. You also need to know where these chemicals come from. So um, obviously you can say what's causing acid rain. You want to say it's carbon dioxide, NOx and SOx, and you want to say where this comes from, which is here. Carbon dioxide clearly comes from power stations burning fossil fuels, and cars, that's not, shouldn't be cards, it should be cars, and aeroplanes. Um, basically that's the main source of carbon dioxide. It's like burning fuel. NOx comes from cars. It comes from the engine engine where nitrogen is converted into NOx 
all right? Because it's so hot, what happens? It splits the nitrogen in half and makes it react with oxygen. Sox is coming from dirty coal. Um, basically, if you have coal, it has sulfur in it. When you're burning it, you get sulfur dioxide coming off. So it comes from dirty coal, where if you have a reaction, what you're going to say is basically S going to plus O2 going to SO2. Really basic, really simple. Where the sulphur here is coming from inside the coal. CFCs came from fridges. Um, they also came from aerosol cans back in the day. Um, but mainly they were used as coolants, cooling gases in fridges. They've been replaced now, but we still need to know a little bit about them. And that's what and where they came from. Um, ozone. Um, ozone formation only happens really in the, like near the ground. And that's basically from the presence of nitrogen oxides and the formation of certain weather patterns and weather conditions. But the main ones you need to know about are these ones here. If you know where these came from, you should be pretty right. Ozone, eh, it's nice to know it, but you don't really care about that much. You won't be asked about that much. So that's your key thing about environmental chemistry. It's um, a whole bunch of stuff put together, like three pages, I'm um, sorry, um, three chapters into half a page. Read more about it if you want to, but this is the basics of it. As long as you can tell me which chemical does what problem and where those chemicals come from, you should be pretty much right. Any questions, give us a yell.